Welcome to this episode of AAAE's Airport Stuff You Should Know. My name is Kevin Tafe, and I'm an airport rescue firefighter here at MSB International Airport. Most aircraft accidents happen within 3,000 feet of an airport. And those of us who work as aircraft rescue firefighters need to know how to respond within seconds of the emergency. This takes complex training and preparation. Let's show you what we do here at MSP to prepare. Like all certified firefighters, we complete annual classroom training and live drills to maintain effective skills. What's unique to Aircraft Rescue Firefighting, or ARF, is the additional knowledge and familiarization of aviation-related fuels and chemicals, airport situational awareness, and the types of aircraft that service our airports so we can respond to emergencies quickly while not putting our lives in greater danger. If there's an aircraft emergency, aircraft jet engines may continue to run after a crash and can overturn vehicles with jet blasts. Military aircraft may contain weapons, ejection seats, and other hazardous components. Sharp, jagged parts from the wreckage can cause personal injury or tear at protective clothing, and lavatory destruction can create biohazard conditions. To work as a firefighter in an airport, additional certifications are needed, and we train frequently according to FAA regulations. We need to know proper aviation radio phrases and terminology to speak with air traffic control, as well as understand airport runway and taxiway signage and markings. Some airports, like MSP, even have special practice areas for ARF personnel where we train to handle aircraft emergencies using live fire. Aircraft familiarization is critical. For example, we need to know where to cut into an aircraft without damaging a fuel line or creating a more dangerous situation for passengers and first responders. Here at MSP, we keep detailed diagrams of all passenger and cargo aircraft types and are required to be familiar with all of them through practice drills and classroom training. The more we practice and train, the better prepared we are to help the public. Working as an aircraft rescue firefighter can be a dangerous but rewarding career. Organizations like the AAAE offer courses and certifications that can help expand your knowledge and professional development in ARF and other airport topics. Visit AAAE.org for more details.